Hello everyone. Today we have guest Sampath Das who secured an All India rank of 746 in the GATE 2022 examinations. So congratulations Yash for your beautiful success. And today we will be learning more about his journey through his own words. So my first question to you Yash, what motivated you to start prepping for GATE? Okay, so when I was in my 11th and 12th, uh, I actually gave the G mains and uh, exam. In that exam I secured two digit marks and I knew at that moment that I was not going to be able to clear the advanced paper. So I just joined a local college which was near my house and just kind of gave up my dream of ever being an IITian or an NITian. And as the college life just went on, I just went along with life. I just participated in a lot of fests and uh, tried to learn and a bit more about experiences and all those. And when I was at the end of my second year, uh, I saw a shining ray uh, in the form of a senior whose name was Tanmay Sule. Now Tanmay Sule secured AIR2 in the GATE 2020 examination and once I came to know about his success and the fact that he was from my college and almost secured similar marks to me to get an admission in that college, my hopes of ever becoming an IIT and again uh, rise up. And uh, at that time I was a bit busy with some various events and all so I couldn't really have a talk with him but during my fifth semester when I was available I finally had a meet with him I asked him about uh, his preparation journey and what helped him succeed. In his journey, he advised me about Vision Gate and how he joined the institute and how he studied under Professor RSV. And I was really inspired by his talk and his advice which he gave me. And so uh, I went to Sir, I came to Vision Gate, I had a talk with Sir and I was really inspired by Sir as well. And at that moment, I felt that yeah, I, even I could, being, for, being an average student from uh, a normal college, even I could actually become an IITian and clear gate. So when did you start preparing? Uh, I started my preparation during my 6th semester uh, in Jan 2021. Okay, so you had just one year to prepare? Yeah, I, I knew that I won't be able to give another year so I just had this 12 months and I knew that I had to give my 100%. Yeah, so when you knew that you had limited time and you had put a restriction on yourself that ek saal mein sab karna hai. so mm -hmm. what was your strategy? So luckily, uh, in March, when the results of 2021 were announced, I had the opportunity to interact with all the toppers of 2021, such as Jaydi, uh, Sejal, Ashutosh, Ashish, and a lot more. And I used to really ask them a lot of questions as if like what their strategy was, what could, what all the tips they could give me. And so all of these, all of the toppers gave me a very good plan. And it was something along the lines of before August, complete all the past year papers and get your syllabus like almost 80 to 90 percent completed and after August start giving test series from multiple different uh, sources and so during our preparation sir used to give us like an idea of what all test series you need to buy and what all you have to perform so that is what I did from uh, August till the end of Jan. Okay so what were the challenges you faced while you know carrying out your strategy? Okay so one of the most difficult challenges was for me was actually not the syllabus, but was an emotional war which was having with myself. So initially, like all the other aspirants, my preparation was really, really fun. I was having a lot of fun studying and learning with all my peers and going through the syllabus. It was really exciting. Soon during the month of, uh, month of March, April, May, I was slowly, slowly losing motivation. The uh, subjects were becoming a bit more tough for me and my backlog was increasing a lot. And I had a snapping point in the month of June. Uh, at that point, we had multiple subjects going on and my uh, backlog was a lot and uh, for me, for some weird reason, I felt that I was the only one who was facing these difficulties. I felt that all my peers were like easily able to cope up with the syllabus and were easily like uh, solving everything and were with, uh, where, whereas I was somewhere very behind in my journey. I felt I was lacking in some aspects and I didn't know why and that actually gave me a lot of panic attacks and anxiety attacks. And being an introvert, I was really shy and I just felt that something was wrong with me so I never approached sir. Sir so usually used to call me and ask me about my journey and I used to always say it was perfect. Because I just felt that something was wrong with me and I should do something more. And uh, this took a toll on me. It hurt my health a lot. And after a point I found myself not able to focus at all. I had to stop attending all the online lectures and was like I had to change my aim to go to the recorded lectures. And the, that journey was very difficult for me. I couldn't sit for more than 30 minutes in an entire recorded lecture. I had to take breaks, I had anxiety attacks in between the lectures and it was a really rough journey. But slowly and steadily I pushed myself ahead. 
I started developing my entire stamina and was able to again sit for 8, 9 or 10 hours deep. So yeah, that was one of the biggest challenges which I faced, an emotional war between myself. That was, I think that should have been a lot tough for you yeah, as well. Definitely. So what was the significance of test series in your preparation? Yeah, test series played an important role. Like I mentioned before, SIR actually encourages us to buy multiple test series and attempt most of them. Uh, I believe test series are the only way you can improve your problem solving skills. Uh, reading test book and going over the syllabus kind of gets boring at a point and you need different challenges and different sources to challenge yourself. And test series play an important role. Uh, my personality is that of a competitive person. So when I look at test scores and results, I kind of motivate myself. So there was a test which I gave in October which was uh, of the paper CN. CN is one of my weakest subjects and I am really afraid of that subject. So I remember I secured 4 marks out of 75 in that paper and I was the second last. The person who was last secured 0 marks and he actually misclicked the submission. So I was technically the last person in that paper and uh, I'm not going to lie that hurt me a lot. I actually cried that day and slept myself but the next day when I woke up I made myself a promise that whatever happens I will improve myself, I will get better at CN. And so for the next 2 months I studied CN every day for 2 hours early in the morning and by the end of those 2 months I was actually quite confident in my skills and was actually like it was a battle which I felt I won, it was my first mini success and initially like everyone else your test scores will probably be very bad in the test series and it is not something that you should mind or get affected by it but you should keep on absorbing and uh, like everyone even my test scores improved so I was like feeling pretty good at the month of December and January with my test results okay. So what you changed in your preparation strategy wise in the last month of GEEP? Okay, so what I decided for my last month was uh, I actually uh, went through the syllabus multiple times from my initial journey that was in Jan till December and in the month of Jan what I was planning was to just give a quick revision to everything whatever I have practiced till now. Uh, unfortunately, uh, life happened. I actually got affected with COVID and uh, I was unable to study most of the topics which I had planned for revision. So. Uh, I didn't really change a lot, I was just affected with COVID, I could barely give a test series and then I also just lie in my bed for like 14 to 15 hours helplessly and when I got better I just gave my all, I revised whatever I could and yeah that's it, I went with whatever minimum preparation I had for me. Okay so after going through all of that mm -hmm. and now getting a very good rank in GATE, what do you think, what you know uh, change GATE brought in your life? Okay, um, so I'm not going to lie, initially in the month of Jan, when I assumed that like, to be a topper you need to know everything. You have to be a very very hard working individual who can't make any mistakes. And after going through this journey I realized that is not really the answer. You don't need to be a very intelligent person. What you need to be is just an average person but who has the heart and the will to work continuously throughout the entire journey. You have to be consistent and dedicated and uh, you just have to never give up. So that was the change which I found in myself that uh, after this journey I have become very confident and even myself a lot more and yeah, that's about it. So what advice would you li like to give to other gate aspirants? Okay, so my advice would be to just not give up. This is an advice which Tanmay Sule gave me. He made me promise him that whatever happened, however, like it's going to be a war. You are going to feel bad at one point or the other and you are going to feel that this is not for you. But at that lowest point of your life, I just want you to remember that this is something which happens with all the toppers. Regarding whether their rank is 1 or 1000, this is something which everyone will go through. And at your lowest point, just remember not to give up and just stay consistent and surround yourself with a very uh, proactive peer group so that they can uplift you and help you. And uh, in my case, I was an introvert. I was really shy and did not know who to approach. So if you're facing something like this, feel free to contact your friends or even sir and ask him for advice, how to deal with this, how to play. If you're in a, if you're going down in, just how you can push yourself back up. Because at the end of the day, when you're consistent, you will achieve a run. So yeah, that's about it. It was also a very tough journey and I'm happy to see you rise from the ashes, just like a phoenix. So thank you very much, Yash, for your valuable time and for chatting with us. And I think that's it. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,